good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on compressors in the today lecture we are going to discuss the axial flow compressors so this is the block diagram of an axial flow compressor this is the air inlet and this ro this is the rotor and the rotor having blades called rotor blades and they are rotating along with the rotor and these are the stator blades they are stationary see when rotor rotate this rotor blades also rotate and when air is entering see the you know the rotor is giving energy to the air through the rotor blades so that automatically this air get accelerated that means the increase in velocity once the air is entering into the axial flow compressor the first uh, thing is the air is going to accelerate that means the velocity increases after increment in velocity it will go to uh, it will go to the space where between it will go to the space provided between the rotor blades and stator blades and it is something like a diffuser it is something like a diffuser it decreases velocity and it increases the pressure so once the pressure increases and it and uh, you know the stator blade also guides the of course it provides the diffuser section and auto, auto, and the second purpose of the stator blades is it also guides the air to the second stage of rotary blades that means second set of moving blades in a smooth way so that means uh, to get smooth entry into the second stage these stator blades are guiding so the purpose of the stator it, that means the stator blades uh, done the two uh, performance two you know uh, two functions one is it will act as a diffuser and it will increase the pressure and second one is second one is it also guides to the smooth entry for the air in the next stage of rotor blades so that means um, after entering into the second stage the further acceleration takes place and then further uh, deaccelerate and increases the pressure so that means in the each stage the pressure is increasing in the step by step by the help of this axial flow compressors we can increase the pressure around uh, 1.2 to 1.3 sometime it may go to 1.4 pressure ratio for each stage that means for example if i go to more number of stage i can increase the more number of you know, more more is the pressure ratio from the axial flow axial flow compressors and uh, these axial flow compressors are widely used for gas turbines and uh, you know aeroplanes and uh, mostly in the industrial applications and it is also used for the supercharging the ic engines also thank you very much